Hey gang, Joel Palmer here, Vintage Fitness, hip video number two. If you have especially iliotibial band, IT band issues, here is an upgrade from our first video. If you haven't seen the first one, go check out VFSB Hip Rehab on YouTube. Um, we've got some basic hip rehab stuff you can do on that video. But I'm gonna show you a couple of simple things you can do with some simple tools, uh, exercises that I like for IT band problems. Again, I'm gonna give you this disclaimer, be patient. IT band is basically a humongous tendon. Tendon issues can really take a long time. They don't heal very quickly, uh, they don't get great blood supply and therefore it takes them a while to regenerate. But helping to strengthen things just helps to promote uh, a better function and ultimately will help you get past your injury. So here's what I like. This is a medium piece of therabanding here. It's basically just a big theraband loop. Okay. What I like to do is step in it and the first thing we do, we can crisscross it. I like to crisscross and we'll do some side steps. Get down into a good short stop position, athletic stance. We step right, left, left, right. I like to do this with a timer. Set my timer for 30 seconds. Let it rip. You can take a little rest afterwards but work it for 30 seconds. That's the first one. Next one I like, same setup, is what we call a monster walk. So now what we're gonna do from that athletic position is step forward, a couple steps, coming at you, and then backwards. Same thing, let that timer work for 30 seconds. What you wanna try to avoid is don't be straight up and down, try to keep the knees bent a little bit in that, in that athletic position, okay? Third exercise, same setup, we can just do a squat, just a body weight squat. Take your feet, push your stance out to about shoulder width, okay, on this one, and just squat while you're pushing out with the feet. If you want to make it a little more challenging, we put the band in outside of the knees. We can squat that way. Squat while you're pushing the band out. A simpler version of that requires a second piece of equipment, requires a mini band. The mini band would go up around the knees, okay? and squat. This is actually just the setup is, is a, a little slow to get in and out of the band, but once you're there, this is actually an easier way to do it. More, I think it's more comfortable, okay? But it does require that you have both the traditional loop and a mini band. So if you don't have a mini band, you can, you can mimic things with the uh, bigger TheraBand, okay? Squat that way, right? The last one I'm going to show you for IT band exercises and strengthening is a dragon lunge. We can do this body weight. We can do this with a kettlebell. The first one, body weight. Dragon lunge, you're going to step so that you're stepping behind. Your legs are going to cross. Legs are going to cross. So if I'm working my right IT band, I'm going to step behind with my left leg. So you step behind, drop down, come on right back up. I like to come back to the home base, right? Right back to the neutral position. Step, drive, step, drive. Again, I like to use a timer for these exercises. You can do it by rep if you want. I like to use a timer for these. Um, set that timer for 30 seconds. Boom, we'll do one side. Beep, 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 timer goes off. 30 seconds, we'll go the other side. Go the other side, okay? Beep, 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 timer goes off. Take 30 seconds. 
catch your breath, repeat it two more times. So you do three sets of 30 seconds each. Okay? You can do the same thing with resistance. You can add a kettlebell, or if you don't have a kettlebell, you can do it with a, um, a dumbbell, okay? Or a weight plate, or a medicine ball. I'm gonna hold the kettlebell just in the front uh, rack position. So here, boom, right up here. Now we'll go 30 seconds with the right leg. Boom. I like to actually kind of try to just graze the floor with the back knee, okay? How deep you go is up to you. How deep you go is up to you. If your knees work well and you can get all the way down so that you just basically touch the floor just a little bit, great. If not, modify it to whatever depth works for you. If you want to take it one step further, one extra challenge more, we do these one-handed. So we're going to hold the kettlebell now in the cleaned rack position just on one side. I'll rack it on my right side. I'll work my right leg. So it would be this way, here, and drag and lunge it. Drag and lunge it. Okay, 30 seconds right. Then you would go 30 seconds left. Boom. So there's a couple ways to work the IT bands. I'd spend a few minutes. This is a workout. You could do all these at one time. You could do the banded side steps, 30, three times through. Do the monster walks, 30 seconds, three times through. Do the banded body weight squat, 30, three times through. And then do your dragon lunges, 30 seconds each side, three times through. That is not only a heck of a good IT band workout, That'll get your heart rate going. That'll work the rest of your lower body as well. Great stuff. So if you've got IT band syndrome or IT band issues of any kind, this is an upgrade from our first video. Remember, go check that one out first. Uh, that's at VFSV Hip Rehab. If you go to YouTube, just search it with that. Um, then as you feel like you've progressed through that video well, you end up in this one. This will give you some more options, a little more variety, a little more strength training. Remember, life is heavy, train for life. We'll see you back here for another video later. Take care.